Tiffany, hello. Yeah. Ah, uh, Chum, I need your help with a matter of grave importance. You see, my seismic readings have Chandler and I are headed to Simmering Springs. Oh yeah! I always wanted to have a beach party. Need me to sunscreen your back, Snorp Dog? No, no, no need, Chandler. I'm well protected. I can tolerate the horrible sun for at least a few minutes. You sure? I could check if you missed a spot. <laughs> Best to keep our wits about us. This seismic event could happen any moment. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, what was that? They're not usually this intense. An anomaly, to be sure. But it ended surprisingly quick. Oh, oh, oh. It's a new island, dog! We gotta go over there! Uh, must we? Uh, um, yes, uh, of course. Uh, but surely this job is bigger than the three of us. We need to form a miniature expedition. A gathering of our finest scientific minds. Of course, that means Triffany and... Floofy. Ooh, get Shelda, too! Shelda? Well, she's hardly qualified. You said you want the finest minds, and Shelda's loaded with wisdom. Bam! Team assembled! Oh, I suppose she is an herbalist, and the closest thing we have to a doctor without Eggabel around. Very well. Tell Triffany, Floofty, and Shelda to come to the beach. Chandler and I will stay here to prepare a way across. Get hype! Good day to you. Catch you later. Nice! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! No! I do. Islands don't just pop into being every day, you know. I got no business left here, so I'll go on ahead and meet you on the beach. Yo. Salutations. Hmm. So an unknown piece of geography has erupted from the ocean, unexplained and unstable, likely to sink again at any moment. So of course I'm going. I will gather my equipment. Hey there. You're asking me? <clears throat> well, of course. Your need for guidance is great. Despite the peril, one will show you the path. And that scary little island. If it's what I think it is, there's something there I need to see. <gasps> ah, so soon. We're not quite ready. Uh, we could use another few days of assessment. What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got the raft ready in record time. Let's go get everybody. Ah. <sighs> Of course, Chandlo. Alrighty, I'm here and ready to explore. Ooh, nice work on that raft there, Chandlo. Thanks, Brophany. Indeed. If it is not more than a finely crafted tomb for the foolish wanderers. Of course, Snorpington can get volunteers. 
Ah, oh, but it seems a vagrant has wandered into our expedition. Snacksburg is that way, Shelda. <gasps> Be still, your wicked tongue. One must show respect to one's elders. I will respect you as soon as you do something respectable. No, oh, you think so highly of yourself that you alone are they who can know the unknowable? No, you bring ruin to all that you touch. Ruin to Egabel, ruin to Elizabeth, ruin to your own flesh and blood. I'm starting to think this might not have been the best idea. You know, six folks is a lot for one raft. Maybe one of us ought to stay back home? Which one? Uh... We're all going. Me and Snorpy can hold it together. Actually, Chandler, uh, well, I was thinking you and I should stay here and supervise. What? Bro, why'd I build all this stuff if we're not going? Don't you want to know what's on the new island? Well, uh, of course I do, but look at that thing. That island is a death trap. Come on, Snorp Dog. It's probably fine. Look, I gotta go out there. They need me. Yes, somebody needs to caddy the septuagenarian. Shut it. You can go if you must, Chandlu. But I'm staying here. But bro, we do everything together. What if something happens to you while I'm gone? Me? Well, I'll be on this lovely beach. What if something happens to you? Yes, yes, you can both be struck by a meteor at any moment. Honestly, they do this every time Chen Lo goes to check the mail. Can we stop wasting time and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as Shelda? <clears throat> you two are like mirrors, reflecting endlessly. One must look away from the infinite abyss and gaze down only at oneself. What? Oh. Far be it for me to give anyone life advice, but there's nothing wrong with a little time apart. It's healthy, even. All right. If you all say so. Don't worry. I'll be in radio contact the entire time. Now I've got trackers on at least three of you. Right. Okay. Then let's get this party started! Right. Bro. I'll let you do the honors. Just jump on the raft when you're ready. <laughs> nice! No! As usual, it is up to me to do a majority of the heavy thinking around here. Let us not be distracted by interpersonal dramatics when a cacophony of scientific curiosities has been dropped in our laps. If one is fated to brave a den of inevitable tragedy, one would prefer to do so in better company. This group is a little uh, volatile, but I'm sure we can put our differences aside for the sake of learning, yeah? All right, chum, if worse comes to worst and you're surrounded by grumpinati agents, shout the code word and I will set off a flashbang hidden somewhere on your body. Don't worry, it should be perfectly safe as long as you don't say the code word at any other time. Good luck! Oh, it's okay, Chandlo. Snorpy's gonna be fine. Time apart is healthy.
All right, Snorp Dog. We made it to the other island. We found some kind of reef cove thing to land on. Chandler, listen to me. It's very important. You need to understand that remote detonator. Snorpy! Oh, Grump, the radio's broken. No, no, I think we're just out of range. Or there could be some interference going on. Oh, how unfortunate. I suppose we will have to proceed without Snorpington's so-called supervision. But maybe we should go back and tell him? It'll only take an hour. The threshold is crossed. It cannot be uncrossed. And if you think I'm spending another minute on that plank of wood today, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Yeah, you're always right, Shelda. Snorpy knows we got this. He'd want us to keep exploring. Huh. Looks like there's a way across up there. <laughs> Let's check it out, bro. <laughs> Despite one's years, there ever remains a sense of humbling beauty where sand meets sea, and not a toxin in sight. Despite what... Hmm. These coral structures are the only animal species I've witnessed anywhere near the Snacktooth biosphere. Intriguing. onto this island and I'm already seeing evidence of ancient Grumpus technology. Ooh, this trip is definitely gonna be worth it. to light that thing up? I bet Snorpy's trip shot could do it! Do you think Snorpy can see us from the beach? I can't really see him, but he's got those thick lenses, so I bet he totally could. is a rotten angler! Well, would you look at that? Some kind of ancient maze carving. With moving parts and everything! Well, whoever built it put it directly in our way. Chenlo, you excel in brute force. Destroy this. You got it, Floof Dog! Call me Floof Dog again and see what happens. Now hold on, hold on there. Let's not go smashing the priceless antiques just yet. Looks like you could fit your buggy ball down there in the entrance. I bet if we solve this maze, something real interesting is gonna happen. <laughs> That's odd. Somehow big puzzles didn't make it into the stories. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> ah, but what a wonder it is to behold the divine workings of one's ancestors. Yes, yes, how impressive. Some very dead grumpuses figured out how to move rocks up and down. Please solve this so that we can find something interesting. Whoa, this thing's like a super huge old pinball machine. Dibs on the next game, bro! Gosh, this thing's been waterlogged for a thousand years and somehow the parts are all still moving. <gasps> Wish my husband was that reliable. Goodness, that mechanism still works after all this time? 
Not to mention the water damage. If that's just the door, who knows what historical goodies we'll find inside there. It's a jungle out there! Oh, goodness. To think that this whole valley was underwater not that long ago. I can even see evidence of civilization from who knows when. Oh, check out that impressive looking temple up there. One is more concerned with the ominous crater that lies beneath. If my eyes do not deceive me, I believe I've spotted new varieties of bug snacks as well. New bug snacks? Sick! Think they could be dangerous? There's an easy way to find out. Well, uh, before we get too ahead of ourselves, we might want to set up a base camp. A wonderful idea. One could use time to... Ah, recenter. Five minutes in and you already need a nap. Leave the labor to the productive members of society, then. Oh, please don't start this again. Bros! Come check this out! You seeing what I'm seeing? It's Bunger time! Excellent. Why don't you go and fetch it for us, Chen Lo? Way ahead of you, dog! Oh, dear. You better go follow and help him out. We'll stay up here and start setting up camp. <laughs> One wonders at every second what revelation this accursed land could possibly contain that would be worth suffering a mere ten minutes with floofty. Not a grumpin' thing, that's what. Gosh, from the moment they met, Floofty and Shelda sure have hated each other. As I recall, Shelda said, Greetings, child. And Floofty said, it is unlikely we are related by blood. Therefore, I am not your child. And things kind of escalated from there. If what Shelda has to say is so monumentally important, then why does she waste time making her speech so farcically obtuse? Employing Sesquipedalian jargon is rudimentary. The hard part is make brain no big think. Is it just me? Or is that bunger way bigger than normal? Oh! Ooh! Ow! My muscles and my bones! Where am I? I hit some kind of statue room? Looks like she's holding a thing. I don't know what that is. But try throwing it at the big bunger. Maybe that'll do something. Whoa! It stopped being big! I bet it's small enough to catch now! Bunger, bunger. Bunger, bunger. Bunger, 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 bunger.
so good! That's a whole meal in one bite! We gotta tell the others about this! Plus, I should probably help unpack. Did you all see that? Giant bug snacks! Even the bungers out here are as big as Mama Melon! Gosh, we might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean! Aha! Uh -huh. That would align with my theory on the correlation between age and size. The lost sister of Snacktooth lies unburied. Yet you marvel at the engorgement of the toxins that dance on her grave. The lost what, now? Tell me, Chenlo. How did you come to capture this specimen? We found a jar of some kind of small dust. It came out of this old lady statue thing. A statue, eh? What did it look like? Like a big friendly grumpus lady with flowers all around her. Uh, no. That sounds like it could be a shrine to Mother Nature, eh? Whoa. Shelda, that's your thing. No, 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 no. Ah, but why would Mother Nature, no to despiser of bug snacks, be dispensing bug snack catching equipment? Hmm? Shelda, your god is a hypocrite. Silence, you wretch! The mother guides! The mother protects! If you so doubt, then one will wield the light of truth against your blasphemy! Okay then. I guess Shelda's gonna go check out those shrines. Uh, meanwhile, I gotta go take a look at all the ruins around here. There's so much ancient history to uncover. I'm giddy just thinking about it. I am fascinated by this shrink spice and its effects on snack matter. If I can determine exactly what it's made of, I'm certain we will have much use for it. All right, bros. I know I'm not a scientist, but I got a hypothesis. If this island can make Big Bunger, can it make Big Chandlo? That's not what a hypothesis is. Honestly, what does my brother see in you? Oh, hush. I'm sure it's worth a try. Well then, let's get to it. From the moment they met, Floofy and as I recall. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'd say it's high time we get to exploring. I see another maze blocking the way deeper into the jungle. I bet if we solve it, we'll find something real exciting. I'll go ahead and make my way over to the maze. Meet me there when you're ready for some puzzling. <laughs> If what shall they have employing such This shrinking spice intrigues me. What substance could produce such a pronounced effect on bug snacks? From what I observe, it was manufactured by ancient grumpuses, so surely it'll be simple to recreate. <laughs> Shelda, know anything useful? <laughs> you can be quite funny on occasion. Frivolities aside, I require a sample of shrink spice for study. Bring a specimen here and place it into my trough. <laughs> One must see what lies within those supposed shrines to Mother Nature. Not shrines destroyed and forgotten, but one untouched by the ravages of time. One can see it up along the river's path. That is the place we must meet. However, the shrine is beyond one's reach. Yet again, you must remove an obstacle that shrouds the path. <laughs> I don't ask for much in this life, dog. But if it was up to me, I'd be 10, no, 20 feet tall at minimum. 
grow. I gotta see if eating these big bug snacks will make me Big Chandlo. I saw this huge snack lifting stuff near the river. Big lifting? You know I gotta get me some of that! It seems this substance becomes quite volatile when removed from its origin. A flaw in its design, perhaps. How troublesome. I may need to employ a more direct method of study. By which I mean, bring another sample here and throw it at me before it combusts. Yes, I'm told physical violence can be quite cathartic. Since the spice causes no apparent harm to bug snacks, I am reasonably certain that I will be fine. couldn't tell. <laughs> that was rather unpleasant. <laughs> However, having experienced that, I have learned two very important facts. One, the substance does not work on grumpuses. Two, I should not do that again. I am no closer to obtaining a usable sample of shrink spice. However, I believe we may learn something from the local bug snacks. Use the shrink spice to capture one chedorb and one milimochi. Then transform me with those specimens. If what shall that employing Suscobit? like this is as far as I can go. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of this wall. Whoa! That was a close call! I gotta be honest. In all my years of archaeology, that was my first Run-in with a giant rolling ball. Chidor, 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 chidor.
Nice to be away from the others for a minute. The arguing can be, uh, distracting, you know? Well, you know Floofty. They're smart as a whip and twice as painful. <laughs> I feel like they expect more out of me than I can give, though. Gosh, I don't know. I feel like I ought to be taking more of a leadership role out here. But I do all my best work when I'm alone. <clears throat> but why talk about all that unpleasantness when we could be neck deep in some dusty corpses? <laughs> the maze is right there. Gosh, from the mo as I recall. Jack 
Jack-o-lantern, Jack-o-lantern, Jack-o-lantern. Jack-o, Jack-o-lantern, Jack-o-lantern. Jack-o-lantern, Jack-o-lantern. Jacko, Jacko Len, Jacko Len. Scan around and see just what kind of ruin this is. <laughs> There's plenty to investigate in this here ruin. Scan around and see what kind of clues you can find. There's plenty to it. Judging by what we've seen, I'd say this was a communal living space. One of the few that wasn't utterly destroyed anyway. And gosh, technology and culture are so much more advanced than what we've seen so far. This city must have been the center of Stone Grumpus society. And at the very center, 
The temple? Possibly led by a priestess of Mother Nature, eh? Hmm, that's a great question. There's definitely easier ways to lock a door. <laughs> but seeing as this was the height of their craftsmanship, it's possible they built those mazes just to show off. I don't know too much, but I'll say it's one of the world's oldest practice and religions. I'm sure Shelda could tell you more about it, but on that subject, it's odd I never saw hide nor hair of Mother Nature A back on Snacktooth. It's possible she showed up relatively late in their culture, adding to the existing worship of bug snacks. Whoa, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> never look a gift temple in the gateway, as Grandma used to say. <laughs> I'll meet you by the entrance, yeah? <laughs> The path once more revealed, and yet no less treacherous. One's heart is filled with dread for the truths yet unknown within the River Shrine. Nevertheless, we must push forward. <laughs> I believe there's a side entrance into the shrine. When you find it, can you please open it for me? Oh, thanks for meeting me out here. I guess if it's just you and me, <laughs> I can keep it casual. Oh, the front entrance to this place looks too strenuous for these old bones. But I believe there's a side entrance into the shrine. When you find it, can you please open it for me?
It's almost identical to the shrines I used to visit in my youth. But it's been twisted, corrupted. Here, Mother Nature is the bringer of bug snacks. The stories they passed down, the warnings about the toxin, they must have come from experience. Yes, the place where I learned about the beauty and wisdom of this world. I hear it's a parking lot now. <gasps> no! The mother is of purest light. Her ageless wisdom vastly predates these vile monstrosities. But her followers are a different story. No one starts life off the path. That's why we all need guidance. I grew up hearing stories about the dangers of Snacktooth Island, passed down through the oral tradition from those who survived it. Not that many did survive it. Just enough to give one very clear message. The toxin must not be consumed. Because it will lead to your doom. What doom, I, I do not know. The story's gotten frustratingly vague over time. Oh, I did! Every day at the top of my lungs! It's all of you who didn't listen. It wasn't really a raffle, I can tell you that. <sighs> Come with me to the crater. There's something else I want to see. <laughs> See that Eggler shell? I need you to crack open three of them. You might try placing one in that nest. Yes, this is the place. In the stories, they called this island Broken Tooth. So the story goes, the toxin's influence grew so great and powerful that the sun itself went dark. And so Mother Nature unleashed her wrath on her errant followers, purging the toxin and sending everything to the depths of the ocean. Looks a lot like wrath to me. But that story never sat right with me. Destroying followers who stray? That isn't the mother I know. She's not the bringer of bug snacks either. The ancients can't even get their story straight. So what am I supposed to believe? If I can't rely on the wisdom of those past, then all that's left is my own experience. I need to meditate. Child, if you would do me a kindness. You see that egg, Lachelle? I need you to crack open three of them. This time it's not a metaphor.
Eggler! 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 Eggler!
Chet Orb! Chet Orb! Decently competent work. Unfortunately, any remnants of the spice seem to have been digested, but this too yields interesting results. In their shrunken state, the bug snacks here are not fundamentally different from those on Snack Tooth proper. I am still forming my hypotheses, but I presume the process is endemic to this island, and the spice was created to inhibit it. None beyond the usual. <laughs> After all, Chadlow ate a Bunga Royale as soon as we arrived. And he seems alive and well. It will be simple. I am merely exhausting every avenue of study. It's called being thorough. Look it up. Now, I've observed chocolates capable of maintaining a small size. This may present a more stable vessel for the spice. Regrettably, I must not eat it, delicious though it may be. So, bring one to my science trough, please. Catch you on the flip-flop, bro! Hello? Hi. I can feel the lifting energy inside me, but I didn't get bigger at all. I guess I didn't get huge eating that big bunger either. You know what, bro? I'm just gonna admit to myself that it's not gonna work and move on. Guess that means my investigation's over already. What do I do now? Bro, if I can't handle big bunger, I don't stand a chance against the rest. Goals for the future, maybe. I'm already helping where I can, bro. But I'm not a scientist. Floofty said if I touched their lab again, they'd give me an excoriating worthy of my fatuity. Relax, huh? I guess it's been a while since I just chilled. I've been so busy fixing up Snacksburg, Training, life coaching, and, you know, I've always got to take care of Snorpy. What the grump? Let's hang! We ought to shoot some hoops! All right! Hoops, 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 hoops! <laughs> you know the rules, don't go ahead. You got one point! My turn! <laughs> Grump! I missed! That's two points for you, bro! My turn! <laughs> nice! One point! Three points, dog! My turn! <laughs> two points for me! My turn! Huh. Grump! I missed! You 
got four points! My turn! I got three points! Whoa, five points! You won, dog! I didn't know you were such a baller! We gotta have a rematch sometime! Thanks for playing with me, bro! Now that we're done hanging, I gotta get back to Snacksburg. I gotta go check on Snorpy. I'll just make another raft. Or I'll swim back if I have to. The ocean's not that tough. Oh, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. This is the longest I've been away from Snorpy in years. And he's not okay without me. How about this? I'm gonna need some big energy for the trip back. You get me two of the biggest, strongest bug snacks on this island. And I'll stick around till I'm fueled up. Chocolate, 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 chocolate
Last, a viable sample. Now I can extract the powder and finally put this mystery to rest. This requires my utmost concentration, and you ask far too many questions. You may return when I found my answer. <laughs> Farewell. Blast it all! I do not need your distractions! I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry, but I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in the Stone Age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany... Mm, bah! Plants are not my area of expertise. You cannot be serious! I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. That was clearly a statement of hyperbole. I very much like this bow tie, and I will not eat it even if doing so wins an argument. Yes. I admit that I am frustrated. Under normal circumstances, I could do this without assistance. <sighs> Very well. Since you clearly won't stop pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. One senses the reek of a foul presence. 
cease your hostilities, Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The Wicked One has come to me for guidance. But surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never. It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. Hmm, ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. <laughs> Though its purpose I cannot condone. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you seek. What? Don't sniff. I know that. <sighs> so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel? Cinnamon? Uh, black tea? Each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringents... <coughs> Oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid. A common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. Floofty, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome.
Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like this is as far as I can go. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of this wall. Whoa! Remind me to ask Snorpy for one of those grapplers. See the camp from up here. At a nice, safe distance. Anywho, there should be a mechanism here that'll get us through that door. Might be a bit of a jog, though. Millie 
some fancy footwork. Oh, wow. Okay, this time the ancient architects were definitely showing off. But you know, this ludicrously complex maze tells me that whatever's in the temple beyond is just that important. So you know the drill. Let's get to solving. <laughs> Oh, 
willpower not to just jump in and do it myself. Anywho, the way is open, so let's get going. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's a kick in the teeth. So much for seeing the temple. Judging by the bodies, this collapse must have happened when folks were still living here. Maybe the crater is connected somehow. Come to think of it, we didn't find a single corpse back in the commune. Where'd all those grumpuses get to? Well then, I'm not about to let this mystery go unsolved. I've just got to roll up my sleeves and clear this rubble myself. Oh no, no, we don't need to trouble everybody with all this. I know my way around ruins. I'll be just fine on my own. You just leave this to me. Go on about your day, and I'll have it done in a jiff, okay? You just leave this to me. Go on about your day, and I'll have it done in a jiff, okay? So cool. <laughs> Neat.
Jackalant, Jackalant. Thank you. I know that wasn't an easy task. Ah, bug snacks are so often in the shape of unliving things, but somehow these shells are just... shells. <laughs> They're also the only good source of calcium on this island. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm fighting osteoporosis. Ah, <sighs> anyway, I've centered my thoughts. I want to know for myself what bug snacks are, whether they're of the mother or not. I'm going to need that big old nasty flying bunk snack. Please, bring it to the box of purity when you get the chance. <laughs>
Thank you. I swear I'm not going to eat it this time. Nay, for I seek the very essence of bug snacks. That spirit which drives them to create their poisonous delights. Unfortunately, I have no grumpin' clue how to do that. <gasps> Floofty? Are you out of your grumping mind? One would never consult with that wicked alchemist. Grow a tree, but I can't do that right now. But, one must admit, when it comes to delving into the Forbidden, there is none more bold than Floofty. Oh, well, if that is how it must be, then may the mother protect me. Ah, Chelda, you seem to be dangerously close to my personal space. If you're here to trap me in a spell circle again, I will inform you that I could leave at any time and I was merely acting. Temper your contemptuous heart. One is here on a quest for understanding to unlock the forbidden knowledge of bug snacks. Oh, and you've come to me. Why don't you ask your mother naturally? Or Crystal, or whatever you talk to. The path is shrouded at the moment. One believes that clearing this impasse requires a more scientific lens. How interesting. Are you certain? I'm given to understand that I exude a fetid aura of utter evil from every pore. You are reckless and arrogant and so, so rude. But one does not truly believe that you are evil. <laughs> well, I have little time nor patience for your games. If you want to know something, stop speaking like a horoscope and ask. Ugh. I want to know the essence of bug snacks. What is it they're made of? If I can understand that, then I might know whether they're actually separate from Mother Nature or born from the darkness of her history. I'm not about to resolve your philosophical quandaries. There is no answer to the why of the universe. Bug snacks simply exist. However, since you've finally taken an interest in my studies, then just this once I will educate you. I can show you how to extract live snack matter for microscopic viewing without that matter denaturing. Ah, but if I were to explain it to a very small infant, denaturing is... I know what denaturing means. You do? I'm here to learn about bug snacks, not vocabulary. Aha. Uh -huh. Very well then. Our lesson should proceed smoothly. Step 1 of 17. Preparing an adequate formalin solution. Thank you for encouraging this old lady to learn something new. Now you better leave us to it. I sense this may take a while. Bug snacks are but one of many of the mother's toxins to take root among the Tooth Islands. Gramble found that out the hard way when he tried to eat the lupins. Take it from an herbalist. Almost everything here is secretly poison. I suppose I have let my personal feelings inhibit my judgment when it comes to Shella and her potential for collaboration. Rest assured, to prevent repeating such a mistake, I will endeavor never to feel feelings again. Hey, thanks for playing b-ball with me, bro. I've been stuck balling solo out here. Snorpy tries, but he's got a long way to go. You feel me? I did ask Wambus to play one time, but he just picked up the ball, dunked it, and walked away. Oh. Such a waste of talent, bro. Hello. No. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, bro. I think I ate too much. So good, though. No regrets! Oh. Oh, hey, while you were out there, 
I've been thinking. Before I go, I need some major guidance. Normally there's stuff I can't talk about cause Snorpy's always listening in. So, if not now, when? Alright, Sheldon's waiting. <laughs> hey, Sheldog, can I get some of your wisdom? Always, my child. I'm worried about Snorpy. <sighs> Once more shall you be reminded. Snorpy is safer than we, Chandlo. Ease your burden. That's... that's not what I mean. I'm worried about the way he's been. All the paranoid stuff, the anxiety. I thought bringing Snorpy out here, out into nature, it might mellow him out. Flush all the bad vibes out of his system. But it's only gotten worse. I've known Snorpy all my life, but it feels like he's getting further away from me and... and I just don't know what to do! Uh... One must... in the path of the mother... No, uh... hold on. One does not want one's words to be misinterpreted when one says... That boy needs therapy. Well, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to do that. I make sure he's safe. I listen to his problems. I try to help him feel valid. All that stuff. Chandlo, you are strong and wise and wonderful. And you can do everything to support him. But you cannot fix him. Understand? Snorpy is lost in a maze of his own making, and it will take a professional to help him escape. That's... a lot to take in. I need to think about it. Thanks for your wisdom, Shelda. You'll thank me when you actually take my advice. Hey, bro. While I'm still out here, I want to talk to Triffany and Floofty too. There's still more I gotta know, you know? Catch you later. Oh, I suppose it was only a matter of time. Tell Chanlo I will be with him shortly. Are we here to speak ill of my brother? I will gladly go first. Complaint one of 294. No, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass. But no, I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side too. And Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. And despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. Even you got to admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. Yeah, <laughs> where did you come from? Shoo! <sighs> Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. And after that... There was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> if you must call it that. But only the most boring sort with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpicton has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. Thanks for telling me all that. Mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation to involve more shouting and headlocks. No, not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. 
And maybe I can show you how to headlock me! Perhaps. But for now, my work beckons. It's not going too good. I'm starting to worry I might never see the inside of this temple. Knowing them, they go and whip up some chemical that dissolves rocks and only takes three-fourths of their blood to make. It's safer for them if I don't ask. I could be, but I don't know that I need even more riddles to solve. Besides, I've heard the sounds her back makes. She could really use a lie down. I don't know, maybe he could. But if I put him in any danger, Snorpy's gonna hear about it. And then I'll hear about it every day for the rest of my life. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Sure, teamwork would really help out here. But those grumps can't go more than an hour without starting a big fight, and I, uh, I just freeze up. You know, I'm an expert in my field and all, but I'm not a management type. It's better if I just concentrate on my work and let them cool off on their own. To be honest, no, I don't. These kind of spats, they just fester and grow, and before you know it, Civilization collapses. Look, some folks just don't get along. Some mysteries just go unsolved. There's nothing I can really do about it. But at least we gave it a shot. I'll see you back at the camp. I'm happy to chat with Chan Lo. Let's meet by the campfire. What's going on, Chan Lo? Trifony, you know about history and, like, ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well, I've done some research on my own. And, uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. <laughs> Real conspiracies can't happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati, but aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts, and... They kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look, there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. Oh, Chandlo, that's not, uh, what I... Up, 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 let it go, my child. Point is, 
Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Drift Dog. No problem! And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me. I feel like there's a huge weight on top of me, and it's not the kind I can lift. Snorpy never would have come to Snacktooth if I didn't push him into it. All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Sheldon's right. I don't know enough to really help him. And thinking I do is only making it worse. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready anyway. I need some time to just think. One time, I stayed an extra hour at the gym and Snorpy reported me missing. And I guess he also rigged the apartment with booby traps. I got hit with paint cans ten times just trying to open the front door. I mean, I was okay, but our landlord was pretty mad. Bug snacks are but one of many of the mother's toxins to take root among the Tooth Islands. Gramble found that out the hard way. Don't mind me. I'm just stewing on what might be inside that temple and whether the others will actually help me get it open. You know, for all his faults, Philbo's always willing to throw himself in the crosshairs to stop a fight and get everybody back on track. Whew, that's something I wish I could do. Oh, that's nice. Well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go gather everybody up so we can share what we all learned. This might be a long meeting, so let me know if you've still got some business to do. Fantastic. All right, everybody, team meeting. Thanks for meeting, everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, yeah? Indeed. I must say, I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you've found in your studies, Professor. Oh, ah, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. <laughs> say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. Huh. And, Shilda, what did you find out about Mother Nature, eh? With some... <clears throat> additional insight, one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the Mother. Yet toxins still. Just as every fang dripping with venom, every flower glistening with poisonous sap, the reminder that nature can be very unkind. Grump, yeah? Nature's hardcore! Ah, uh, like some. The ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken, and one believes that this was not the work of the divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded 
That is so interesting. Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Sheldon. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Floofty. Things simply are. Using my words against me? Invent your own wisdom, you sagacious charlatan! I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. Oh, please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> What's that happening now? Ha! You missed it, Drift Dog! Floofty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery! They... they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction as it is time to feast on the fruits of the historian's knowledge. Oh, well, hmm, I, I've certainly learned a lot, but there are still plenty of mysteries abound, and I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got no way to get through. I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a- Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. Ooh, a more ominous sentence has never been uttered. Well, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. Well, there it is. Think you can do something about this debris? No problem, Drift Dog. Floofty, let's get the thing ready. Of course, the thing. You, place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. Good. Now turn around. And no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? All right. I've got it out of the ball. Slippery little thing. Keep it still or the needle will- Ow! What the grump is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And... Whoa! Don't let go! Oh no you don't! Gotcha! <sighs> you may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! I wanted to call it the engorged strabiform or bacula encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Ouch! Woo! We finally got a way in! <gasps> nice teamwork, everybody! Problem solved. You are all very welcome. Oh, yeah! Big Strabby! Center yourself, Chandlo. This is not a creation to be celebrated, but to be feared. Yeah, but we did do pretty good, huh? Ooh, I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first, Let's poke around in these ruins. This collapsed chasm. 
I suspect it was once quite deep. If only Snorpington had joined us, he could have given us a subterranean analysis. What a shame. I really wish Snorpy was here to help. He loves this kind of stuff, but I don't think he could handle it. Hmm. This temple resembles nothing I've seen among the followers of Mother Nature. Its depraved purpose lies only in the worship of bug snacks. Scan around the temple. See if you can learn what this place was for. <laughs> hmm. But then what happened? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, are you finished already? If not, I'm a little busy here. Don't talk to me till I've had my archaeology. <laughs> I should put that on a mug. <laughs> oh. That's an understatement. <laughs> I told you that the Stone Grumps did ritual sacrifice, yeah? Well, this was the place. They'd throw Grumpuses down that pit, offering them up to whew, whatever's down there. Hmm. Is that why the bug snacks here get so big? Because the soil's been uniquely fertilized? <laughs> I found this machine thing buried here. Kinda reminds me of Snorpy's lunch pads. Indeed, yet large enough to launch something of significant size. In fact, it seems to be perfectly suited for the big buckyball. I believe an experiment is in order. Whoa! Sprout got locked in there! Uh, now what? Hmm. There seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. It may require a jolt from the snack grappler to activate. Uh oh! be a good sign. What did you all do? This disturbance is emanating from the sealed pit! Ready yourselves! A grave danger approaches! Bros, I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again! Oh, 
Adrenaline talking? But that's the best bug snack I've ever had! Whew. All right. Let's check if everybody's okay. Phew! Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping! <laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses, the crater... I mean, it's just a thought. But I think, ages ago, something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. We just saw the Cheddar Portal come out of there. Ha! <laughs> if the Cheddar Portal could be handled by one mediocre journalist, I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature? Or perhaps the wrath of those sacrificed? Amusing as this grisly history is, none of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Islands don't generally want things, Chandler. Unless those lost and vengeful lie dormant still beneath our feet. You know, I think I've learned all I can for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes, right, Shane. sounds good to me. Okay, so do you want to come back to the raft with us or keep exploring? Wonderful! And on the way, I'll regale you with stories about other temple collapses. I am skeptical of the idea that Krampus' sacrifice is the true catalyst for snack gigantification. However, this is infeasible and, yes, unethical to test at the moment. Regrettably, I must leave with more questions than answers. However, rest assured that I am by no means finished researching this island. It seems like the more we learn about Snacktooth's history, the grimmer it gets. But that's the dark side of archaeology. Civilization never collapses in a nice way. On the bright side, we might have just discovered the historical basis for the myth of Grumplantis. Grandma Lotta Blog would have loved to see this. Oof, I'm gonna need new bones after this. Uh, <clears throat> but one finally understands the mother's will. Broken tooth is not a vision of the past, but of our future. And you better be ready for it. Oh, Grump. We've been gone so long. I'm gonna call Snorpy the second we get signal again. Hardly because I miss him a lot. But also so he knows it's us. So he doesn't try to blow up the raft. Oh, Grump. We've been hardly because I'm... Snorp Dog! Chandler, my l... <coughs> um... <laughs> You're in one piece. And I mean, of course you are. I had the utmost faith in you. Oh, please. You were likely in tears the entire time. I was not! Trithony, what in the world did you find out there? Oh, gosh. That's a long story. 
I kind of want to get home to Wamby first, if you don't mind. But uh, let's meet up in town, and I'll tell you the details over some snack waters, yeah? Yes, let's! Ah, and Shelda's alive and well? Yeah, my joints are killing me. <laughs> but sure, I, uh, uh, one must meditate with a tincture of willow and cloves. Uh, if you inform me of the recipe, I could find a way to augment the effects. Consider this an effort to be less deliberately antagonistic towards you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Floofties being helpful? Seriously, Chandler, what happened over there? Grumpanati mind control? I don't know. We're just finding ourselves out here, Snorp Dog. And, uh, speaking of that, Snorpy, I'm sorry for making you come to Snack Tooth. Oh, well, well, that's all right. It may not be my favorite place, but, but I know you're just doing what you think is best. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, you sound like you've got something weighing on your mind. Yeah, I do. But I think it can wait. Let's just go home and chill, okay? Ah, ah well, well, I'm nothing if not chill. Thanks for everything, dog. We'll see you back at Snacksburg! I don't understand. 
understand its true purpose. The ones who built it are lost far beneath the ocean. The organization uses it as a break room.
watching your expedition with great interest. I don't get radio out here, so you know, most entertainment I've had all year. I'm afraid that Rana Kalata blog has gone somewhere that you should not follow.
tapes, Clumby. The secret tapes in the secret place. They know. How could anybody even find them? That is such a violation of my privacy. It had to be them. Lisbert's crew. Flibbo, Tiffany, Wampus, whatever their names are. Well then, I have a task for you, Miss Clumbernut. Find out everything you can about these so-called survivors of Snacktooth. We'll see how they like it when I learn all of their secrets. So, yeah, call me back when you get this. This is Jamfoot, by the way. Okay, bye-bye. Strabble!